uh, a year ago, after all the other pretexts had collapsed, uh, Bush's speechwriters came along with a new one to replace them. It's what the liberal press calls the president's messianic vision to bring democracy to Iraq, uh, Middle East, whole world. And the reactions were kind of intriguing. Uh, they ranged from rapturous acclaim in the liberal national press, from praise for the, uh, uh, there were, it ranged from there to critics. Uh, the critics agreed that the vision was noble and inspiring, but they said it might be beyond our reach. The uh, problem is that Iraqi culture is just not ready for such uh, progress towards civilized values. But no, it was interesting that it was presupposed across the spectrum that this was the goal of the invasion. Well, there's evidence for that, one piece of evidence. Our leader proclaimed it. What more is needed? Uh, uh, the critics say uh, noble vision, but we have to temper the messianic idealism of Bush and Blair uh, with sober realism. Now, that's the London Financial Times, probably the most serious newspaper in the world. Uh, well, actually there is, you can tell me what the Canadian press said. I'll make a guess, but you can verify it for me. Uh, well, there actually was one sector of opinion that had a different view, uh, Iraqis. Uh, at the very same time as the messianic vision was proclaimed, in Washington to reverence applause. Uh, there was a U.S. run poll in Baghdad, uh, and it turned out that some people there also believed that that was the goal of the invasion, 1%. Uh, a majority of the population took the obvious view. The U.S. invaded Iraq to get control of its resources and to uh, organize the region in U.S. interests the view you're not allowed to express in the United States or you're a conspiracy theorist or a Marxist or some other bad word. Uh, in fact, Iraqis agree that there's a problem of cultural backwardness that stands in the way of the messianic vision, but they think it's here, not in Iraq. Uh, actually, their views are a little more nuanced if you look. So 1% thought the U.S. invaded to restore, demo establish democracy, but 50% said the U.S. wants democracy in Iraq. Now, that may look like a contradiction until you go on. 50% said the U.S. wants democracy, but is going to influence it to ensure that it comes out the right way. In other words, they understand very well the quintessentially American faith, uh, perhaps because it was also the quintessentially British faith, while Britain's boot was on their neck. Uh, since the First World War. And they don't have to know the history of Wilsonian idealism, as it's called, or Britain's noble counterpart, or the French civilizing mission, or the even more exalted vision of uh, Japanese fascists and many others. Uh, it's presumably close to a historical universal. Their own experience is enough. And it's not unusual for those at the wrong end of the club uh, to have a much clearer picture of reality than those who are wielding it. That's true in plenty of domains. <laughs>